More rain. A little low in the action this morning, but uh, I think Michelle's pretty tired of saying chance of showers in her forecast. I know that's been going on for a couple days now. How about chance of sunshine yeah, nice. for tomorrow? Yeah. We've got that lined up today, though. Uh, it's a rainy afternoon and evening, so going to be tough to get in those after school activities, as I do expect this to continue right through the evening commute. So, right now in North Situate, you can see the uh, rain filling in. We've got some fog around here, too. The visibility is down to about a half mile. And uh, here we go again, leading our three key things. Those showers are going to be fairly widespread, occasionally a heavier. Downpour. There's very low risk of a thunderstorm. Uh, then we get back to some drier weather moving in tonight, allowing for a brighter day on Thursday. And Friday is looking pretty good too. As for Mother's Day weekend, there are a couple of showers in the forecast, but not looking like a washout. And we'll talk about that right now. A bit of a washout for your afternoon. That rain again filling in. So the darker greens that you see is where it's falling a little steadier up along the West Bay and then down across South County over into Quidnick Island. The rain starting to fill in. We're seeing that in the northwest part of Rhode Island, too, with more on the way, about 50 to 55 degrees. That's it for those temperatures right now, and I don't expect much change this afternoon. Our winds are light. They're from the east at about zero to five miles per hour. So here's the culprit. Frontal system moving across southeast New England right now. That low going to continue to push offshore. And once it does, that cold front will come through and will finally break out of this kind of gloomy pattern we've been in over the last couple of days. Not for the short term, though. 3 30 in the afternoon, you can see rainy at school dismissal time, 54 degrees in Providence. We'll see some briefly, again, heavier showers possible. That'll be a concern for the start of the evening commute. And then the steadiest and the heaviest of the rain starting to move out by the mid evening hours with some. Lingering lighter showers up through about midnight. And then after that, we're going to start to see not only drier weather return, but some clearing by tomorrow morning. We should be back under some sunshine with temperatures cooling to between 45 and 50 overnight tonight. So already going to start to see some of that drying out and that clearing. Winds will be picking up for tomorrow. A breezy but a milder afternoon. We will see some gusts in the morning, especially between 20 and 25 miles per hour. After a beautiful day on Thursday, Friday manages to dodge any significant. Rainfall too. Low pressure offshore looks to track away from our area, far enough away that the widespread rain is a miss. But look what happens on Saturday. We just get a couple of random showers that pop up, along with mostly cloudy skies and cooler temperatures. Those showers Saturday night over Connecticut likely to fizzle as they push east. Sunday starting off the day with sunshine, and then we'll be watching for. A batch of clouds and possibly some rainfall that you see back here going to try to push in for Sunday evening or Sunday night. So there's still some unsettled weather in the seven day forecast, but we get a little break from it after today for your Thursday and Friday. Check out these temperatures Thursday. That's more like it for early May. Middle 60s with some dry skies after school sports going off without a hitch tomorrow. And even Friday should be fine at 63 degrees. Scattered shower on Saturday, Mother's Day. Looking good for breakfast or brunch with mom. Lunchtime should be dry as well. And maybe even dinner time squeezing and still some dry hours before those showers try to push in and linger into early Monday.